And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute all my real ones. Yeah! Listen, champ, we got why didn't Puerto Rico become a U.S. state? A short animated documentary. We are about to find out. And before we do that, like button, subscribe, button, notification bell, press, press those. Let's go. And by the way, Puerto Rico, Puerto Ricans are Americans anyway, so it doesn't make a big difference. Puerto Rico here is currently a territory of the United States, but as you'll probably know, it isn't a state. Much like Alaska and Hawaii, it was annexed in the second half of the 19th century. But unlike the other two territories, Puerto Rico never made the leap from being a territory to a fully-fledged state. So why not? What right. stopped Puerto Rico from becoming a state? So to begin, Puerto Rico was a Spanish colony up until 1898. This was after Spain and the United States got into a bit of a scuffle over a main sinking and a general American desire for empire building. The Spanish tried to resist, but the United States won handily. And in the peace treaty, it got Guam, the Philippines and Puerto Rico. This was shortly after Hawaii was annexed by the US and 30 years after Alaska had been too. But where Hawaii and Alaska differ from Puerto Rico is that the continental US saw them differently and those that live in their territories wanted different things. Hawaii, for example, was largely ignored by the mainland United States for decades and served as a useful naval base in the North Pacific with some limited resources. Whereas for Alaska, the US government took a much kinder stance towards it in the 1940s because of the advances in aviation. The US was concerned about Japan, the Soviet Union and to a lesser extent extent uh, Britain during this time, and Alaska was well positioned to deal with them. Right, it was a similar like, distance from all three right, of them, so it made... Because isn't, isn't, isn't uh, Russia only like like 40, and not, not 40, 80 miles away from Alaska? A transport hub. And also, mm. it was useful for stationing long-range bombers there, just in case. In 1958, Alaska was offered a referendum on statehood, which 80% wanted, and so it was soon accepted. Very shortly after this, Hawaii was offered the same. Now, this was slightly more controversial, since many American lawmakers were worried about a majority non-white state sending senators and congressmen to do things like vote on laws and stuff. However, the US was under pressure from the United Nations to decide what Hawaii was going to be. And so, to avoid accusations of empire, President Eisenhower offered the territory a vote on becoming a state. Over 90% of Hawaiians supported the move, and so in 1959 it joined as America's 50th state. So why didn't Puerto Rico get the same treatment? The United Nations also took a dim view of America keeping it as a territory, but the difference was in the attitudes of the Puerto Ricans to the United States. From before its annexation until the outbreak of World War I, the island had a strong independence movement, and very few people there wanted to become Americans. Yet, after Puerto Ricans were given citizenship in 1917, the desire for independence slowly faded and people came to prefer a loose association with the United States. This didn't mean that everybody was happy with the arrangement, and when the island's status was reviewed in the 1950s, small-scale armed revolts broke out across the island. Despite this, most Puerto Ricans were happy to remain a US territory. They didn't get any seats in Congress, but no representation meant no taxation, and so those who lived right. there didn't have to pay federal income tax. Right. As for the opinion of successive US governments, they didn't want to deal with a potential upheaval that extra senators and congressmen would bring. And during the 1950s and 1960s, when certain political and social issues were at the forefront of American thought, there were concerns about omitting another state whose population was overwhelmingly non-white and whose population was about three times larger than both Alaska and Hawaii's combined. As such, in the American political tradition, it was time for can-kicking, something which continues mm. to this day as opinions so, on the island slowly move towards being more and more pro-statehood. Right, so basically what he, what he's trying to say is that the, the people that were already in power were more than glad to say, yo, we don't want Puerto Ricans coming through because they're probably going to vote Democrat, and I'm assuming that whoever was in power was Republican. But then again, wasn't it flipped? It used to be that Republicans ideals were what democratic ideals are now um that's like why you know lincoln freed the slaves but he was a republican and like it wound up flipping or some shit like that i don't know anybody uh, any one of y'all know more about this than i do please break it down in the comments i section. hope you enjoyed this episode oh well that's the end of the car that's the end of the video right there man um <clears throat> i think i mean I, you know what i i really don't know what you know my Puerto Rican friends, because I got I know a few Puerto Ricans, so I really should ask them like, yo, how do they and their and their older family members feel about you know becoming 
uh, American citizens. But to them, they're like, yo, listen, man, we don't get taxed and we don't and, 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 and you know, we get to fly in and out of Puerto Rico like if it was a state. So we don't got no problem with it. So, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all thought about the video. Should Puerto Rico become the 51st state? Let me know in the comment section. My name is Rain. Catch you on the flip side. RCP salute. Wait for it.